Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Orogiri. Uh, this episode is a kind of um, chain reaction from yesterday. So yesterday we did a best spear video, top 10. I didn't really know what we were doing, but apparently people enjoyed it. And um, now we're doing a best bow video. So, you know, we're going to be going over like the best bows like up to like our current end game on PS4. So, we'll be talking I know the bows a bit more than I know the spears. Now, that's a weird statement for me to say because, you know, I play spear, but I only ever really used Rose Maiden and then I used like the Geno Buster. I only ever used like three spears, honestly. So, but I did use a lot more bows than I did um, spears. So, um, let me pull up the pages on the wiki of the best bows. Because if you want to find the best bows, oh my god, my mouse dropped and like everything just started spinning. That was pretty crazy. So, the best bows, you know. If you're on the wiki and you want to just find out, okay, what's the best bow? You click on the list that says, you know, bows, and you just scroll down, and the weapons will progressively get stronger with level. So, all right. So let me just click on bows here. Bows. No, no, that's a picture of a bow. I want the whole list. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay. So now that we're in the uh, list of... Uh, let's go through it. So, number one on the list. Now, obviously number one is the lowest on the list, but it is the first one we're going to talk about. That bow is the Golden Eye. So, back in my day, I had two Golden Eyes and a Tiger Moth. And, you know, I had them all with Icicle Storm 7, and I thought that was pretty good. And, you know, I had, back in the day, I had a Melon, a Grape, and a... Mango and I used those with a Chiami and I did okay and I beat Typhon and all that good stuff. And I had the Golden Eye for it. A Golden Eye is an awesome, awesome bow. Uh, people will love Golden Eyes for a long time. So I'm just scrolling up my list here of bows to get to Golden Eye itself. Um, the Golden Eye is a gold rarity bow. Its uh, level requirement is 76. And it, you can get it as early as Hokuri Kudo up until Echigo Estate. And you get it from Jellyfish Cave, Hermit Crab Grotto, and Echigo Estate. So only those three dungeons actually yield uh, Golden Eyes. So it's probably like the, the first... Um, well, for me it was. As a bow user, it was like the first um, bow that was really good. Like, for a lot of bow users, when you're in Kaga you don't actually get a new bow. Like, you have your same Sekigahara bow, like the Lightning Tachibana, whatever. That bow is, like, the same bow you're going to get in um, Kaga. And it's like, oh, I don't get a new bow. But then once you go to Hakuri Kudo, it's like, I got a Golden Eye. Yay, I finally got a new weapon. And for a lot of people, Golden Eye was a really awesome weapon to have. It's a gold tier weapon, so it grinds pretty high. It's your standard weapon, like some people have like Golden Eye, Kogarasu Maru, stuff like that. So Golden Eye is pretty fun. A uh, great bow. So the next bow on the list is the Tiger Moth. So I'm gonna pull out my Tiger Moth, because I have one. And the Tiger Moth is an awesome bow. Like it was back in the day, it was the bow to build. And um, you know. Tiger Moth is a craftable weapon. It's gold star, gold seal, whatever it is. So my bows, I have some bows in here. Where's my Tiger Moth? My Tiger Moth, like back in the day, was like my highly, most highest smelted weapon. Why does this increase? Oh, okay. So Tiger Moth, I had a plus 60 Tiger Moth. I was pretty proud of it. So there it is. It's a very beautiful looking bow. It was, a, it was like my first crafted weapon I ever really made. I had a charge shot 5 on it, lightning flash shot 5 on it, and icicle storm 7 on it. And I did really good with this bow. I really enjoyed it. So, 
Tiger Moth is actually a very easy bow to build. Uh, it's, it was the easiest of the like level. Uh, you had to get Yoshi Sooner to 18 to make these weapons, and it was the easiest one to make to my like that I remember. So I got a weapon smithing. Um, I can't look by certain tiers. So let me try and remember what the weapons you could make back then were. You just had to level her up and you could make them. Uh, hmm. Trying to, okay, so like it was like there was the dragon spear. There was uh, so it was dragon spear, tiger moth. Um, I don't really know all there. It was that dark twin blades she could make. The dark bone sword. And if you click view, you can look at them. But for that, you needed a Hell's Bible, some Lift 51 Eno Gutimo sword, and some worm stuff. It's not that bad to make. You just needed Hell's Bibles and it took forever. Uh, you know. But there, like, there was a whole bunch of them. But I'm just going to try and get to Tiger Moth itself. I can't really find it. So the easy way to do that is just go click on bow. And we can go find a Tiger Moth. There it is. So Tiger Moth, you needed a Mushiro Magatama, which was incredibly easy to make. One dried tongue, and when you do ACM, those are really easy to get. Or you just do Cave of Screams. And then you needed Reverse Compass, and you could make one Tiger Moth. It was literally the easiest weapon to make. Um, before the Edo update, I got really bored and just made like three Tiger Moths to plus 50, just like, making all of them myself. And then when I got here, I just sold them, because I'm like, I don't need these anymore. I just got really bored. But, um, Tiger Moth, yeah, you can click view and you'll look at it. Relly will probably hold it in a weird way. Oh, it's zoomed out. Why am I so zoomed out? Oh, I can turn myself too. That's awesome. How come that's so zoomed out? That's not how the other ones go. Oh, look how beautiful the Ice Eye Meteor is. We're getting to that soon. Oh my goodness, we're getting to that soon. Okay. So yeah, Tiger Moth is an awesome bow. Like, these are the two honorable mentions. Goldeneye and Tiger Moth. They were very awesome bows back in the day. So, let's keep going. So now that we're in the update days of Edo, let's talk about the better bows. And then as, an, as the last actual, the last um, honorable mention bow on this list is going to be the Heavenly Oyuki bow. Just because that thing always comes with Exorcist Arrow 5, and for some, that is the rarest bow skill to find on a weapon. Before, like, my cross, I never had Exorcist Arrow until it was on one random golden eye I had, and I just thought it was Charge Shot. Like, I don't know what I was thinking that night. I just thought it was, like, Charge Shot 5 or something. But, you know, Heavenly Oyuki Bow always comes with Exorcist Arrow 5, so it's a great weapon to build up if you want to just, like, get three of them and just try start extracting fives. But, you know, having the Yuki bow, kind of cool. So the next bow is on our list, and we're getting into the good ones. So you have the Juncture bow, which is Glazer 1. And the Glazer 1, darn it, I'm late. Alexander, you're not too late. You're just like five minutes in. It's all right. Eight minutes. Um, you know, Glazer 1 is the Juncture bow. It gives you 30 Holy Element, 10 decks. Honestly, it's not something you want to use. Uh, the Glazer one is just a material for the Disruptor later on. So, just like Geno Buster and all those other juncture weapons, like No Thung and all that stuff. So, the next weapon is the Albatross. So, the Albatross is a very... I, I, enjoy, I like the Albatross. Um, you know, if, if you took the time to build up an Albatross after the update instead of a GoldenEye and stuff as a bow user, you'd be better off than a lot of other players. I had a situation once where, like, before people were always asking, oh, can you carry me to Edo? Can you carry me to Edo? Can you carry me to Edo? And it's just like, no, if I carry you there, you're just going to get worse. You're going to hit Ginza, literally the hardest dungeon at the time, and you won't be able to do damn a damn thing. So what I told people was, like, back in the day, I'd be like, okay, if you want me to carry you there, I'm like, you need to carry Echigo Estate for me. And... I'd bring people to Echigo Estate, you know, and I'd say, okay, carry this for me. And I'm like, if you can do this under, like, a certain time threshold, then yes, I'll get you to Ginza because you have potential. But one, I brought one person, she was a level 80 with a golden eye, like, and took her, like, half an hour to clear the first floor. And I was just like, no, 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 no. You, you're not ready yet. And I told them, like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, what I want you to do 
is I want you to get an albatross, build that thing up, and just go destroy Edo because you'll have such a power advantage over other people. Now, I don't know if they did it or not, but, you know, that's just how I was back then. So, Albatross, I think, is a very good weapon. It's got 15 holy, 5 impact, uh, 14 wind element. So, that's really good for uh, the new tornado drop skill and um, exorcist arrow and Amaya's punishment. It's like a mini disruptor. You know, if you're working on a bow early game, Albatross is a great recommendation. Very easy bow to get because it's from a zombie. So then the next weapon on the list is... Uh, let me look at this stuff here. So I'm going to say is the Dark Arrow Hachiman. So some people will be like, why'd you skip Violante? The reason we skip Violante is because... Dark Arrow Hachiman is basically like that meme. It's like, I'm you, but better. Um, the Violante is a it's a nice bow. It's a level 99 bow with decent attack. And it only drops from Wara Bazooka. But it has 8 Dark Element and 10% SP. Uh, not too... It's, it's okay, but not very appealing. But if we go to the Dark Arrow Hachiman, literally 4 levels later, this bow has 33 Dark Element. So Dark Arrow Hachiman is a phenomenal bow. If we wanted to start the top 5 bows right here, it starts... A Dark Arrow Hachiman. Dark Arrow Hachiman. I have one in my inventory here. Let me pull it out. Love this bow. Er, well, I do. I haven't built it up yet. Too high. Mine's only plus 50. But, you know, my Dark Arrow Hachiman, I love it. So, Dark Arrow Hachiman is a bow that has 33 darkness element and it always comes with Cursed Arrow. So, it's part of that tree of weapons like the 103s. That are always, they always come with like 33 of one element. So the twin swords have holy, the sword has mountain, bow has darkness, you know, spear has wind. There's one for each, each class and there's one, they all have like 33 of one element on them. Now what makes the Dark Arrow Hachiman so good is because it meshes so well with bow skills. So, you know, it always comes with Cursed Arrow 5. Or, uh, and it's always evolvable to five, so it's always going to come with one cursed arrow. And it's a, and you know, it, you can just identify them until you get one with good skills. I did that till I got one with Aqua Needle Seven, a skill I wanted to have because Aqua Needle is a hundred percent rain element, and not a lot of people know that. There's no pierce to it, no slice, no nothing, just rain. So that means if you had any water element, rain element at all, and I was, you know, I walked around with like a hundred and sixty rain, you know. So if I use this, it would have a, it would have a buff of 160 rain element on it, and it's 100% rain. So you know how element works; it's super damage. Like Aqua Needle Seven, a very powerful skill if you have rain element. So you know, even if you just like popped a tail of Genji, you got 30 rain alongside all your skill force, your Aqua Needle would hit a lot harder. And as you level it up, it will get a lot stronger. Mine's not too too leveled because I don't use this bow too often, but I, I love the look of Aqua Needle Seven. It's like. <laughs> You know, it's like seven aqua needles, it's like aqua shotgun. It's pretty cool. And mine also has rapid shot, so you know, that's awesome. And then what you want to do with this, especially early on, and there's nothing wrong with this, you get a dark arrow Hachiman to 100, you know, and then once it's at 100, you pop, you get like restriction or restriction geki, pop both those things on it. Like this is my friend selected. He was like level 102. He built up a Hachiman before he was ready to wear it. And then the minute he put it on, he put it on, put on restriction, walked outside of like pipe two and shot a Seko for like 200k damage and literally like shot himself. He was like, oh my God. And he's like, that was level one. This isn't even rank six yet. So, you know, Dark Arrow Hachiman, you put on that restriction and restriction Geki or both of each or whatever. It hits like a truck, a very, very good weapon. Very good. However, it will be outclassed by the bows we're going to name after this, but honestly, Dark Arrow Hachiman is completely worth building up. Uh, you know, that double restriction, that 30 uh, Darkest Element, really good. You know, at one point I thought, I'm just going to keep identifying uh, Dark Arrow Hachiman until I got one with Collapsing Arrow 7 and just use that standalone, no Oogies, just put on Collapsing Arrow 7 and just try to use it for like one hit. But I never did that because, you know, time passes and I'm still behind on a lot of things. But Dark Arrow Hachiman is a fantastic bow. 
If you're ever wondering what to put restriction on, restriction belongs on a Dark Arrow Hachiman. So, what's next on the list? Uh, so then we have the Disruptor. So the Disruptor is a very, it, it's the 105 bow. So yesterday we talked about Brigandia and I didn't like Brigandia. But um, the Disruptor is, you know, it's a very good bow. But it's literally the hardest thing. It is the hardest 105 weapon to craft in the game as far as my knowledge goes. So if I go click on weapon smithing again, so uncheck everything, clicking all, then click bow. So we're going to go to like, that's the, I'll show you guys a picture of the glazer one anyway. So that's the glazer one. Rhymes, oh, Rhyme, you're back, Rhyme. Hi, Rhyme. So glazer one's a weird looking bow. There it is. So there's the disruptor. This green, weird, circle, half moon bow. Um... You know, so let's look at the recipe requirement. You need Yuki horns. Before the update, these things were damn near impossible to get. You need a plus 45 Glazer 1. So let's go look at the Glazer 1. For the Glazer 1, you need 5 Odin drops, like a bunch of oil, that's no problem. Eternal clouds, that's not a problem. Thank you for your videos. I've learned a lot from you. You're welcome, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. I've never seen you before. Uh, Aro Arroyo. Arroyo. I'm going to call you Elaine. Uh, you're, you're very welcome, Elaine, because that's that's what they're for. They're here to teach players and have fun and go over stuff and make sure the community gets strong and stronger and that no one's really left behind. Because as the higher level players continue to just keep beating the new content, you know, there's not going to be a lot of knowledgeable players early, like in the early areas to help people out. So these videos are sort of like a paper trail on how to get good, on how we got good, so people can follow in our footsteps and come to join our ranks in the higher levels. You know, that's what Ordo Geary is about. So that I, I'm really, that really warms my heart to hear that, Elaine. Thank you a lot. So, as I was saying, you know, Glazer 1's not too hard to make. You just get a 35 Artemis bow, pretty easy. Then you get some wheels, you get that from Marinucci anyway. It's a pretty easy recipe to do, honestly. So you have to make like five of these bows just so you can get the glazer one. Okay, I watched them on YouTube. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, like I stream to YouTube, so that's where they go. I think my chat's glitched. Yeah, I just hit level 70 by killing the blood hand sapping thing. What? Oh, the bloody new. Oh, you got a field boss. Okay. Um, that's cool, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, these all go to YouTube. Like, I stream them on PS4, and then they go to YouTube. And then they're streamed there, and then later they're just there forever. So I'm making a, a sort of a visual wiki sort of, like, guide. Not really. I wish, but, you know, I have too much fun with the videos. So, like I said, you could, you'd have to make, like, five of these Glazer ones, and then smelt them all up to 50. So you, then you go to the, this thing here. So Glazer 1, you need 1 to plus 45, so you need to be able to go to 50. Yuki Horn is near impossible to get. Tengu Feather Fans are a pain. I only have five of them. Um, then you need 30 Exhales. Then you need like 15 Chaos Wasabi, which is even hard, is another hard drop. Then you need Armored Territory, which is not bad at all. Then you need five Fruits of Transients from Typhon, as if Dragon Spear wasn't bad enough. Then you need some Piercing Stones. So it's literally like the hardest recipe to do just to get the Disruptor. So the Disruptor it's like the hardest one to make and it's people like it because it gives you 12 dexterity so that's a lot of attack and then it gives you 15 sp whatever it's useful but then it gives you 40 impact element so the 40 impact element made this really stand out and when bow only like three moves have impact element and those moves are like spin kick heaven swallow kick and amaya's punishment now amaya's punishment is 70% holy, 30% impact. So we were all like, oh, that impact is so important. And honestly, it was. You'd, you'd, you'd only put double punishment on a disruptor. But at the same time, now that the new weapons are out, I would never touch a disruptor. Because when it comes to 113s, you can build up any of the weapons, and they're all a lot easier than this. And you could trade it in to try and get a nebula disruptor. That's what it's called, the 113. We're getting that soon. However, the 113 does not have impact element. 
but there is a bow that has holy i'm pretty sure and we're going to get to that soon but the disruptor is probably the it, it was the best bow up until you know what we're going here so i am getting off track just talking about disruptor and stuff but you know just to retract where we are we had the dark arrow hachiman then we had is it, did i really go from hachiman to disruptor yeah hachiman then disruptor so we have those two bows there so that's like five and six right now so oh we also have i'm sorry to say i forgot to mention the lightning gore so the lightning gore is actually going to go in between the lightning gore actually showed up after disruptor on this list so that's weird uh the lightning gore is the 105 bow it has 20 extra attack speed and it has uh, 44 lightning element on it it's pretty useful but ultimately it will i don't like weapons like that like the lightning weapons that are the same as the satan weapons i am 101 what bow do you recommend me to get uh if you're level 101 um honestly just start collecting dark arrow hachiman like don't use them yet but start collecting some level 103 dark arrow hachimans until you get one that has a really badass skill on it like let's say you've got a dark arrow hachiman that came with icicle storm 7 or um exorcist arrow 7 or some or even aqua needles i like aqua needle 7 most people i don't know if they do or not but you know uh, I recommend at yeah, your level just get a Dark Arrow Hachiman and start collecting a crap ton of them from the pipes and stuff. And, um, you know, you can smelt the Hachiman up, but I wouldn't do it right away. But just start collecting them till you get one with really good skills. And then the minute you're 103, start putting skill cards on them or whatever. I don't know. It, like, you know, building weapons is different than just doing it. But I would say. Um, get a Dark Arrow Hachiman. If you do put money in the game or if you don't, um, obviously you want a Hachiman to put on double restriction. So restriction and restriction Geki or just double Geki or double whatever you have. That's the only Ogi you want to put on it either way. You don't want to put anything else. So you can, I, I would recommend Dark Arrow Hachiman. That's my answer. I'm getting excited because people ask me stuff and it's fun. And Ari's like Aqua Needle doesn't exist. It's literally the rarest skill on Bow. But, um, yeah. So I recommend getting a Dark Arrow Hachiman. That, that's my answer, Elaine. Dark Arrow. What are you talking about, Ari? No. Okay. So, you're welcome. Okay, I'm glad that came across right. Alright. So then we have the Lightning Gore. The Lightning Gore is 44 Lightning, 20 Attack Speed. It's a 105 bow. It's decent. Um, like logically it's the next best bow on the list like you're gonna go like it's gonna go like albatross to dark hachiman to lightning gore then potentially disruptor but i wouldn't build a disruptor now and then it's gonna go to our next weapon on the list so lightning gore is interesting you know if you built one up it has lightning element so you put lightning flash shot on it and you don't really touch anything about it. I have a lightning gore I can bring out just because we're doing a showcase anyway. Um, this isn't exactly a guide on how to play bow, but it's just talking about the bows you can get and stuff. Ari requested it, so. What's up, Luxor? Luxor, we're just going over like the best bows that we currently have access to on PS4. Sort of like a top five, but not really. Because people wanted me to do this. So, so I have a lightning gore. Um, it's a blue. It's the fail knot, but it's all blue and shiny. It's really cool looking. So my lightning gore has rapid shot five on it, uh, lightning flash shot six, and lightning flash shot seven. So I really like my lightning gore, but I just don't touch it. Um, and I checked with Yoshitsune, and rapid shot is evolvable to six. I came for Hellorelia, but she's not here. Oh, whoa, whoa, you shouldn't come for my Kijimonji. Come for me. Uh, th there's Hellorelia if you want Unicorn. She's here too. Oro, do you know where is the best place to farm durability? Uh, yes.
Okay, so where were we? So I have a lightning gore, yes. Um, it's got 44 lightning and 20 attack speed. Lamau, I'm here for you too, or what? But, um, you know, so I think you should only really put lightning skills on it or a slow skill that you want the attack speed buff for. So, you know, Exorcist Arrow on a Lightning Gore would be useful because the charge up time would be shortened, I think. But it is a good bow to build up. You know, it's the 105. Most people will build one up regardless. So I was lucky to get Lightning Flash at 6 on it. I got Ballsy, threw on 7, and it worked. So I really love my Lightning Gore. I was like, I wish this was my cross. Oh my god. But, you know. So, that's the Lightning Gore. So, the next bow on our list is... Um, let me just give a quick sh look at this. So, then we have Galail Severance. So, Galail Severance is an honorable mention here because it's literally the same as... Um, like, it's going to be outclassed by the Gargoyle weapon later. But it... It gets a severance weapon. It's still pretty good. Is it, is it not Oshu? Oh, he thinks it's Oshu because he hasn't completed it yet. Okay. Um, you know. So, Galail Severance is a bow that's going to have 20 pierced element, 30 ice, and then negative fire, negative wind. Gives you critical attack speed and skill force. It's a pretty good bow. Um, I mean, you're just if you had one, I recommend only putting like Icicle Arrow, Icicle Arrow. Like, you put Triple Icicle Arrow. And then you put like Icicle Arrow 7 on it. And then that's your Galail Severance. That's all you do. Is Icicle... Like it's the same thing as the Gay Valga for Spear. You put Water Dragon, Water Dragon, and then Water Dragon. And then throw on Water Dragon 6. And then you throw on like Tidal Wave. And then you just call it a day. And it's like this is my Water Spear. It's very wet and I love it. Galail Severance is basically an Ice Bow. With Pierce Element. So it's pretty awesome. Uh, you know... It's a pretty good bow, but since the gargoyle weapons exist, I don't really acknowledge it more than a material for Elsin later on. So now we're getting to the next bow. So now we have Galgos Cross. This is like the ultimate bow up until um, gargoyle weapons. So like 110 and 115s. So my cross, I was lucky with a skill change. It has uh, Exorcist Arrow 7. <laughs> Lightning Flash Shot 7, and Aqua Needle 5. And then I have uh, Restriction Geki and Punishment. So, you know, and pro tip for Satan weapons, um, unless you want to gamble with Ogi cards, you're better off just using an Ogi Extraction Ticket to um, peel off Satan Ogis before you just play around and try to get double or put on double Ogis or whatever. So you can use extraction tickets and just, I peeled off Fallen Lightning because it's not that good. So I did that. Okay, so, you know, the Galgo's Cross is the Satan bow at its fullest potential. Um, you know, it's a bow that has 40 lightning and 40 pierce. So the Galgo's Cross is the whole reason I'm not a big fan of the lightning gore because the lightning gore is literally, it has... 44 lightning and attack speed. It's like, why do I care? The cross has 40 lightning and 40 pierce. I don't really care. Even a star is better. Like, if we go look at Galgo's star, it's still 35 pierce and 40 lightning. It's still the same lightning. It's, it's still going to be better for lightning flash shot anyway. So, you know. Now, I'm a big stickler for that. Like, I will not acknowledge a lot of weapons just because, like, Cross is better. Like, just in the Spear video, I don't give a damn about Brigandia because Cross does it better. And Star does it better, too. And, like, you know. So, how do I get the recipe to make it? Uh, to make the Galgos Cross, you need um, to beat Satan, like, 700 times on Hell. And pray that he drops a cross recipe that says Galgos Cross. It is a very tedious um, endeavor, to use a good word. So let me just go to my Satan Bestiary. Name. I hit name again so he pops up quicker. Just go. Oh, it always does that. I hate that. It jumps. So Satan. I'm at 1,235 Satans. And I've got nine recipes from him. 
So those are not good odds. Let's just open up the calculator on my computer and we'll do the uh, drop rate right now. Calculator. So what is it, 1235? Yep. One, two, three, five. Divided by nine equals. Oh, I did it wrong. Darn it, math, why have you forsaken me? Nine divided by one, two, three, five. So by this mathematics, the drop rate for a cross is 0 0.007. So it is literally 0.002% higher than the average Magatama drop rate on hard. Now, not all of these runs were hell and not like some of them were normal and some of them were hard. I'm going to say at least 200 of them were on hard. So let's subtract that. So if we say nine out of a thousand, so for hell, so nine divided by 1000 equals 0 0.009. So literally 2% higher. So you have, let's see, honestly, you have a, you know, like when we did it, we determined that you get across one every 200 kills. That's how we notice it happening. Now, obviously when I got my, uh, uh, when I got the Galgos cross recipe, it was literally, I got D3 cross recipe and then the next run I got Galgos cross recipe. Like it was destiny. So the cross recipe is a huge endeavor lane. Um, you said you're 101. I wouldn't worry about it until you have like, um, you know, until you've made your 105 weapons, like a lightning gore, or for your, uh, as long, if you can get that Hachiman I told you to make with double restriction or restriction Geki, you'd be fine to start farming Satan. You'd have no problem, assuming you have your mags and stuff. But the cross recipe is that's their drop rate. Like I think on the wiki, I'll tell you it's literally 0 0.05. It is the same thing as a Magatama. So it's it's a very hard thing to do. Unless it's a spirit, oh my, this female dog over here is getting an exorcist seven. To smelt it, we need to kill it a million times. <laughs> to smelt it, we need, no, 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 no. Like mine is smelted to a hundred, Elaine. Just to, just to put that in perspective. Um, my Galgo's cross is um, smelted. So to make a cross, you're, if you, there's two ways to make a cross. So there's one where it's like, I have like 50 artisan swords and I don't give a damn. That's one way to make a cross or there's, I can wait and I'm going to save my artisan swords for actually building the damn thing. And that's what I did. So what you need to do is you need to amass 48 Satan weapons of one type from Satan. That's minimum, you know, assuming you have no fails and then using those 48, you make six star weapons. So you take one star weapon plus it to. 10 and then smelt another star into it and then you plus that one to 20 so then you have one done you do this three times so you have three galgos stars at plus 20 then you go to yoshitsune say here take my stuff and a million dollars give me a cross so then you do that then you use artisan swords to build those up no one will ever build a second cross to smelt a cross that's retarded um when you do a cross you go okay here's my cross and then you take your artisan sword, artisan treasure sword, and you, you know, you use that as a placebo weapon, like a, 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 a fusion material monster um, substitute, you know, you use one of those. It's like, you know, artisan treasure sword can be used on the of any other thing. So it's like a ditto. It just, you just use it in place of another weapon of the same type and you artisan sword it to a hundred. So that's how you do that. Don't get scared yet. Yes, if you, you'd have to kill it a million times if you wanted to literally get a Galgo's cross to a hundred without artisans, you'd be a fool. A fool with a lot of time and a lot of money. Patience. So, okay, we're getting off topic again. So just to recap, uh, the best bows so far are, you know, Albatross, a great starting bow after Echigo. Um, so Albatross to Dark Hachiman to Lightning Gore to Disruptor to Severance and Cross, but Cross ultimately. 
And then we have like the next things. So after crossed, your next bow you're gonna want is the Satan or the gargoyle weapons. So on hard, you get the 110 gargoyle weapons. I actually have the recipe for one of the gargoyle weapons right now. Let's go pull it up. Um, on hard anyway. So weapon smithing. Uh, where are you? I didn't know that. You saved my life. Yes. Yes, save artisan swords. Artisan swords are the most important thing in the game. Whenever you, and I'll, I'll say that in like two seconds, how to get artisans just to help you out of lane. I'll take two seconds out of my day. So, you know, we have the ice eye meteor. Pretty easy to make. I can make one right now. I'd have to smelt up an Oni Nodachi, but I can make one right now. So this bow, kind of cool looking. It's really awesome looking. Who am I kidding? The Ice Eye Meteor is a beautiful looking bow. This is the level 85 version of it. We don't really talk about it. It's just a material. Then we have Ice Eye Meteor Frost. And it is a very beautiful bow. Very sexy. I just need one wing from the Gargoyle and then I could make one. I just have to make a Meteor. But I need one wing and I'm probably going to save that wing. I bet you do. But we don't have those yet. We don't have Uryu, Horn, and all that stuff yet. So, you know, we don't have Dragon Arcs yet. So, you know, but, you know, so the next weapons are the Ember Eye Meteor, Ice Eye Meteor, and what's it called? Bolt Eye? What is it? A Thunder Eye? What's it called? It's called Thunder Eye. They're so lame names. They're such lame names on these bows. I hate them. But okay, so the Meteor Frost, and then you also you have Rhyme, and then the, the 115s later. But let's just say, you know, the next ones are the um, Frost. And right now on PS4, no one's really capable of beating Hell uh, reliably, so we don't really touch it yet. So for right now, we're doing hard. We were, we're actually at the point where we can do hards without burning too many resources and stuff. We have a good team for it now. It's pretty good. So the Ember Eye Meteor, Ice Eye Meteor, and Thunder Eye Meteor. Preferably of the three, I prefer Sleet Sword for Bow. Um, the reason for that being is it's, um, it gives you 30 Ice Element and 20 Rain Element. So, you know, that's Aqua Needle and Icicle Arrow. So in that regard, you know, you do what I said earlier. You put on Triple, Icicle Arrow, then you slap on a 7 and get them all to 5. You know, with Smelting. So... It gives you negative mountain and negative lightning. So you don't have to worry about that. So, you know, you put on those three moves. And then for ogies, uh, you might want to put on... It already... They always come with an ogie. So maybe you want to put a water cannon. I don't really know. Don't get me wrong. The gargoyle weapons are stronger than the Urios. But the Urios have insane elemental boosts. Yeah, they do. I've looked at them a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah. But right now we're all about the, the gargoyles. That's where PS4 meta is at. So. Um, and then once again you have the Thunder Eye Meteor. Which is, you know, it's Thunder and Mountain. So this one is arguably good because we have Weight of the Earth now. Or bows do. So it's like also useful skill. Shadow's like, Oro, you didn't say anything about a sh I never do, Shadow. I never do. If I'm standing in Kusatsu, it means I'm doing a stream. But, um, you know. So then these weapons also, if you're under the 50% health um, threshold, you gain um, extra skill force, like 25 skill force. Pretty good. Wait, no, no, they just give you 10 skill force anyway, and then they give you 15 more if you're under 50. And then if you're under 25%, you get 15 more? Damn, son, where did you find this? That's like 40% extra skill force if you're low health. And that meshes completely with the 105 mags. That's pretty cool. Um, so, you know. Now, there, as I said, there's three versions of these bows. I prefer the Ice Eye one. Uh, Ember Eye is Fire and Wind. And currently, Bow does not have a normal fire skill. And uh, Wind skill, you have Rapid Shot and Tornado Shot. So, I mean, if you like those skills, by all means. But there's no skill cards for them. 
in my perspective i think the icicle gargoyle you know sleet sword is the best for bow users to go after just because icicle arrow is such a really good skill on bow i would love to i, I would love to make this bow put like um you know icicle icicle and then maybe like i would love to do triple icicle but i might do like icicle uh, aqua needle and then icicle seven and just see how it goes so i'd go like icicle like four icicle five and then aqua needle on it try to get all those three skills on slap on a seven and live with it either way because then you're just going to have icicle storm seven five and aqua needle or just icicle 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 whatever you know it is what it is it, ice is the more desirable wet element on it but rain is also fun too Whew. okay and in that regard i didn't know the element was so low i didn't know the the severance of the same element as it that's that's very interesting because that galail has ice and pierce and that would be more damage to ice but you know this weapon is a stronger weapon so you know it is what it is what who is talking what what are you saying people they said hey come here often want to get naked in the hot springs we already had the hot springs party oh look at you you made that did you I only have the uh, the spear so and then after that we obviously have the um, the nebula disruptor so nebula disruptor See, this is why I hate these these weapons I, I literally hate veterans and I hate uh, 105s I really do like it's just a rehash of the same element I just looked at so if we look at the nebula disruptor a really good weapon don't if you get it by all means hallelujah if you're a bow user but nebula disruptor 12 decks really good 20 ice 20 range so here we're looking at the same elements again i wouldn't mind having this bow actually but it's you know it's probably really good um yeah how much stronger is it than the gargoyle weapon couple 200 points up there come on so it is the 113 it will be a lot powerful more powerful than the 110 versions but ultimately it will get eclipsed by um ice eye meteor rain rhyme so you know but it gives you 12 decks for extra damage so that's awesome uh 15 extra sp sp reduction uh rain and ice element so that's cool and then it has bow skill force 10 percent if your health is high and then or no, it gives you 10% anyway, and if your health is like over 95%, it's another 20%. So eventually it's a 30% extra skill force, and it's ice element and rain element, so icicle arrow seems to be the most desirable bow skill in the game. You know, so that's pretty awesome. And then lastly, we're going to have the 115 versions of the gargoyle weapons, and they're just going to have like twice the element that the other ones have so if we look at ice eye meteor rhyme it has 60 ice element 40 rain element negative lightning negative mountain don't worry about that and then it's gonna have bow skill force 15 percent if under this health etc etc ultimately if you get all if your health is low enough you're gonna get 35 plus 25 Like 50%, is that a, yeah, 50% extra skill force. So that's pretty good. And then, okay. <sighs> Hi, Aurelia. I am Elaine. Can you see my build and tell me what to change? Uh, hi, Mikato. After this video, yeah, if you just open up my... Stop. Tell the 110s to stop showing off. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, Mikado, uh, I can help you right after the video. Just op make sure your profile is open and we can uh, take a look under the hood and tell you what you got to do. Don't worry about that. So, I'm just going to take a quick look at the Attack Star recipe. Uh, I just want to see what element it gives you. I can't remember. Um, 
Attack Star Magatama Recipe. So, the Attack Star is Rain Element again. So, and it's negative lightning, so it just hates crosses and stuff. So we got that going for us. So the attack star is rain element. So that means that aqua needle is going to be a lot more desirable. Because you're going to have, if you have three attack stars, that's going to be 30 more rain element. So in that regard, Galail, it, Severance Galail is actually a good weapon. Um, however, I wouldn't build one up just because you need it for the L sin later down the line. But Nebula Disruptor, that's more rain element. And um, the Ice Eye Meteor is more rain element again. So in conjunction with the 105 mags, um, Nebula Disruptor and Gargo weapons are going to be the weapons you want to aim for ultimately. Uh, you're going to want that Arrow Needle or whatever, Aqua Needle. And you're going to want... Um, you know, what's that move called? Icicle Storm 7 and stuff. And, you know, if you ever get Exorcist Arrow 7, please hold on to it. That move gets a serious buff in a patch coming up, and it's going to hit like a truck. So, you know, we got that going for us. So with that said, I believe we've covered all the best bows we have access to. Just to recap, you know, Golden Eye's a great starter. Then you have Tiger Moth. Don't build Tiger Moths anymore because Albatross is just better. So, you know, Golden Eye... Albatross, to Dark Hachiman, to Lightning Gore, potentially Disruptor, but not really. Then you got the Star, the Cross, then you have the Galail Severance, then you have Gargoyle 110s, Gargoyle 115s, and then Nebula Disruptor. So those are all the best bows in the game. They all have their pluses and their minuses, etc, etc. Ultimately, with the Attack Star, which is the mag you guys are going to want, um, Rain Element is going to be very good, so you might want to invest in a lot of Aqua Needle. You know, build up some skill cards now. So, that said, uh, I'm going to get on out of here. I'm going to help uh, Mikado with her build. Probably put some pants on and stuff. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It's a little informative showcase of weapons, not really a guide or anything. I try to help here and there where I can, but, um, you know, it is what it is. What about the... No. 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 We ain't making no 85 garg... No. Those are materials. Those are not for use. You don't see me walking around with my spear. I have one in here somewhere. Lel? Yes, very Lel. What the heck? You know. Uh, it's here somewhere. Maybe. I had it yesterday. I never used the 85s. I, me either. I wouldn't use it. Like, here, here it is, the Ice Foot Guardian Normal, it's a spear. It gives you 20 ice, 10 rain, negative stuff, extra skill force. Um, honestly, just just don't use this weapon. I mean, yeah, it's it's a lot stronger than a Rose Maiden. Not really, no. Rose Maidens can have like the same base attack as this thing. Um, if you tried to build one of these up with Artisans, you'd be a fool. Um, don't touch the 85s those are materials to get the 110s honestly don't even don't even no no not even no because that's artisan swords and just making more of them no that's a waste of resources no don't don't use the 85s never never ever never never ever no you can walk around and use it as a weapon to show off say oh i beat gargoyle normal i mean by all means go for it but no the 85s are just materials. They're no different than an artisan sword. So, you know. What if you have an... No. You make another another 110. <laughs> no. You make another 110. And you skill change till you get Aqua Needle 7. No. <laughs> you don't. You don't make an 85 for, for combat use. It just, you just do not do it. You don't do it. No. Never. 
Don't, don't do it. All that crap. But I'm gonna do all. You're going to do all my ornaments from now on. All right, Mr. No, you're dang right. What is this? Hey, Oro, do I need to farm last boss in a zombie? Or just leave when I get there? You know, you can, you can leave. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about. I never touched any of the gargoyle. Oh, you're missing out. I don't know. Oh my god, people are spamming me. Look at whose ornaments. Whose ornaments am I looking at? Makoto? Is that what I'm looking at? Oh, I can't do it on stream. I, I, I'm not. Nah, we went from Cross to Uryu to Mephi to Elsin. I suppose. But we're not there yet. So, I'm gonna end the stream here, cause you know... It's almost three o'clock again, so I'm gonna take the time to look at Mikoto and like get myself ready and stuff for the day. So, all right, so I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching the stream and participating and asking questions and learning stuff. So, all right, so I'll catch you guys later. Nope, I just follow Aurelius, guys. Who said that? <laughs>